Hi guys, today I'm going to show you how to draw Olaf from Disney's Frozen. I've already drawn him on this little sticky note, but um, I'll be showing you how to draw him on a bigger piece of paper. I'm not going to be coloring him or a huge amount of detail, just a little shading. And it's going to go pretty quick, um, so feel free to rewind and whatnot. And it's pretty easy and simple, so I hope you have fun. Um, I'm using this kneaded eraser, but it doesn't really matter. I just like it because you can get in small places. And this fact is soft eraser for bigger places. And I'm using the um, drawing F pencil, just the regular one, and the B for the harder, harsher values that you want richer um, value. And the small general shading and the bigger one. So I'm just going to start with the top of the head. Um, it's pretty easy. It's like a rounded rectangle pretty much. Um, and what I'm doing is getting the cheeks. And one side is longer than the other because he's at an angle. Because um, he's putting his weight on one of his feet. second half of his body it's quite more angled but it follows kind of the same guideline as the top and I'm kind of just sketching it I'll probably be erasing it quite a bit now I'm doing the second half or the third I guess of his body it's more like a, a um, an oval than a rectangle Um, now I'm doing his feet. Um, the bottom one's kind of squished because he's leaning on it. And the top one's kind of just out there. It doesn't really matter how you draw it. Now I'm just basically going to erase a lot of my extra sketching and darken some areas. going to do the nose and the eyes which are open to interpretation and I'm not using a stencil for the eyes I'm just rounding them with my pencil freehand so I don't think it really matters eyebrows which you can do differently but this is fine and I'm doing the little twigs that come out of his head which it doesn't really matter how you design them but they're pretty general Just kind of making a design with lines on the nose and making the pupils. Um, now I'm kind of outlining the eyes and the right eye um, is kind of lower because of the angle that he's in so I'm kind of just outlining that and outlining the nose. 
Um, I'm starting the mouth now and the cheeks are kind of, you can see the cheeks kind of and the uh, mouth is kind of like an oval. Um, I'm just rounding out the mouth now, the bottom part, and I'll definitely come in later and erase because I want it to have clean lines. And um, you gotta kind of have to make sure that you follow the contour of his face, and that's basically all you have to do. Um, I'm finishing the mouth now and starting the teeth. Just quickly doing um, the rest of the mouth by just overlining and erasing. Now I'm starting the arm, which you can basically freehand it. I mean, it's a stick or a twig. You can kind of shape it however you want. I'm doing the second arm which is again a twig so you can kind of make it up um, but it is kind of angled in longer than the first one. So now I'm just doing the coal part for the button type thing on his body and this is pretty easy because again like his arms you can kind of improvise but the main thing you want to accomplish is the shading. basically shading everything um, and using the darker pencil which is pencil B. Um, now I'm using B pencil for shading under the coal and other dark areas. Continuing to shade, especially the mouth is really dark, I use B for that, and I'm basically shading the left side of the body and under each layer of his body. giving you 
up close view of shading the face, especially the eyes and the nose. Um, now I'm doing just kind of a layer of snow that it looks like Olaf, his left foot is leaning on. Um, here is the finished Olaf. Um, he's quite bigger than the sticky note, but it's the same picture that I based it off of. Here's the picture I was looking at. Here's some pictures of the finished product. watching my tutorial on how to draw a lot from Frozen and I hope you guys liked it. Um, here's the picture and um, here's my sticky note one. Um, once you get really good at this, you don't even have to be super good, just draw it a couple times and you can like draw it whenever you don't have to be looking at a picture or anything. Um, so I hope you guys like this and comment below what you thought of it and um, suggestions on what I should show you guys how to draw next. Thanks for watching!